Well, Denver International Airport is really well known for its art. The exhibitions program here at the airport is very different from the public art program. What a lot of people don't realize is that we have rotating exhibitions. We have six to eight different um, spaces that we rotate exhibitions on a regular basis. This is one of them here at Terminal Gallery. Really our focus is to highlight contemporary art as well as cultural art. Local art is really important to us. I'm a contemporary urban landscape painter. So I'm really taking my colors. Uh, the more urban pieces are gonna be a little more industrial looking. Patricia Aaron was invited to be here Dark to green. create a body of work specifically for this space. All of our work is created after an experience traveling somewhere. So Passport is a great fitting name that, that ties all that together. Her work is such a great fit for this space, not only because of how beautiful it is and how unique, but the fact that it's, this body of work is based on her travels. Each experience that she has, she gets to really react and respond to the environment, the people, the place, the flora, the fauna, everything that kind of she comes into contact with. And then that in turn gets processed and put back into her paintings, which I think is a really fun way to create work because you're constantly responding to your environment. During the installation for Patricia's show, Passports, we couldn't even get the work completely hung before people were coming in asking questions about what is this amazing artwork that we're seeing. In the exhibition, Patricia's added two really great components. One is a video that where she's discussing the inspiration for the body of work, her travel. There's something about wax that I'm able to translate my feelings into my paintings. Pat has a really interesting technique in the encaustic work. Uh, not everyone is, you know, has been exposed to that. And so the video is a great kind of intro into not only Patricia and what she does as an artist, but also her technique and her style and where her ideas come from. But the really great thing is that we have subtitles on multiple languages and that's really helpful to our travelers because we have such a diverse group of people who pass through this airport on a daily basis that we've really hit a home run there, really reaching out and touching all of our travelers in that way. When you put the gallery in a different environment that you don't you know, expect it to see it, kind of opens the eyes of many passers-by. I think somebody walking through the airport and coming into this gallery, I think they'd be really well educated about some of the phenomenal artists that we have in the Colorado area. To bring some of the best creatives into the right environment really is, is a great synergy. I think when people walk by and they see it, they just are somewhat mesmerized and come right in. It's that beautiful, it's that intriguing.